So what age should someone start performing self uh, examinations? Unfortunately, there are no standard recommendations on when uh, someone should start performing skin self exams. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends that everyone, whether or not they had a previous skin cancer, protect themselves from the sun's harmful rays by seeking shade, wearing protective clothing, using a broad spectrum sunscreen. And broad spectrum means that it protects both against the UVA and the UVB sun rays. Wear a sunscreen that's water resistant, of course, with a sun protection factor of 30 or higher, and reapply that sunscreen every two hours if you're gonna be outdoors for a long time. In terms of self-examination, this is fairly easy to do, and it can be done in the comfort of your own home. The idea that I share with my patients is that it's, it's just really important to be familiar with your skin so that if a new spot were to develop, you would notice. Check places that get little sun. Remember, we said that patients with skin of color tend to develop sunscreen, uh, skin cancers in uh, sun protected areas. So pay attention to the bottom of your feet. Look at your toenails and look at your fingernails and look at the palms of your hands. This is the area that we tend to get skin cancer. So while we do have a lower risk of getting skin cancer, it's not zero. And when patients with skin of color develop skin cancer, remember that we had tend to develop it at later stages when the tumors or skin cancers are thicker and when they're more likely to spread to other areas of your body. Remember that early diagnosis is key and you should seek the care of a board certified dermatologist if you notice a new suspicious spot on your skin.